Well, he certainly is a country boy by heart. But tonight he's stepping out in the bright lights here at Club Manangle to have his first drive on the new track. He has been around previously on the old Manangle circuit. But for Stuart Richards, he's looking forward to the experience. Well, Stuart, good to catch up with you. How are you looking forward to this first experience here at Club Manangle as a driver? Uh, pretty excited. Pretty, you know, come from the country and then um, lobbing at the Manangle. So, um, You've had a couple of horses here on the new track as a trainer some time ago. Yeah, I was probably a good 15 years ago when it first opened up at a couple make the Country Mayor's Series and um, no joy, but yeah, he had a, had a couple of starters, but no drives. So. Stuart, what a huge difference from the experience you used to enjoy here at Club Angle on the small track, the old Angle circuit, compared to this one. Yeah, I had some good fun on the old track when we were down here for a couple of months, but um, yeah, this one's a bit bigger and a bit faster, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Well, Stuart, how did you get involved in harness racing? Um, been in all my life. My father and my parents both were involved had, had own, as owners and as trainers. Um, just sort of followed on from there and play around with a few just as a hobby and yeah, had um, a bit of time as a young fellow going around some of the bigger stables and worked there and learned a bit and you know, forgot a bit too from then, but <laughs> they were good times. Yeah. Those trainers you're talking about, it's widely recognised. I'm going to get to one particular one in a minute, but first of all, your experience working with Bernie Kelly. Uh, Bernie was um, he was a tough heart, tough man, but we had um, he had a lot of good horses at the time, and um, most notable would be Miss Paul. I think she ended up being broodmare of the year two or three years in a row. Um, going back then, now she's had left horses like Frith and that along the line. So um, very hard man, but very very tough, good trainer and very good conditioner of young horses, especially. Yeah, what a wonderful man she was, Miss Paul. How many horses would have Bernie had at that particular stage? Um, he always had 12 in work. He usually started with two-year-olds two and then you know, worked his way through them and leased out what, you know, whatever else was left. But yeah, he had um, 100-odd mares there, so he was always high and breeding and breeding his own. So that's yeah. a little bit stuff. Now, Stuart, you must be considering the next chapter in your harness racing career. You'd have to be pinching yourself because you had the chance to work with one of the biggest and most successful father-son combinations in harness racing history, Bob and Vin Knight. How did that come about? Um, I was down in Victoria working and just, um, yeah, I don't, I can't remember, I remember I won a race at Shepparton and I got a phone call at 2 o'clock in the morning asking if I wanted a job and ended up working um, for Bobby. Unfortunately, it was after the time Vinny had passed, but um, Stephen Dove was a foreman in them days and Johnny Ryan and a few other good blokes, so um, still had a lot of good horses and I think we had about 17 Group 1 horses at the time, so yeah, it was good fun. You must have pinched yourself when that phone call come through. Um, yeah, I think I actually, um, I might have had a chandy or two that night, and I think I actually told him to go back 10 days, but yeah, no, the phone call the next day, and yeah, I think I started there the following week, and yeah, had some good times, so. Bob and Vin always had a huge stable, and one of the most exciting stables in Australian racing, and Australasia, to go a point further. How many horses would Bob have that particular stage? Uh, from memory, I think he was working about 70, um, we had a lot of good horses, like God's Torado, Unicorn Amendment, um, yeah, the list was, of, the, 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 the numbers there were huge. Um, we had a couple of that year, we had Sportsmaster and another one win both Bathurst heats, both Bathurst finals, sorry. So yeah, it was a it was a big step back going from them, driving them horses and come back and then driving the old country horses going two, four and a half around the track. But yeah, they were, they were pretty special horses and Bobby was a pretty special bloke to work for, he was a great bloke to work for. And of course we shouldn't forget the fact that Steve Dove did play a huge part in that success. Yeah, yeah, Dovey was, um, he was a good hard, hard man. Um, I said he spent a lot of time on the road, but the horses were always scattered all around Australia racing, so yeah, it was a, it was a big job. Yeah. After the experience with the Knights, was it back to New South Wales and the country life once again? Yeah, well, I actually went from, from Knights back to Bernie's, and I was there for Bernie for four or five years, and in and out of there a few times, and then... Um, yeah, the side of the horses weren't going to pay my bills, so I went and got a normal job and just played around with a few here and there um, as a hobby and, yeah, enjoying it and probably having the best time in my life at the moment with these horses, you know. Driving a few with a bit of ability helps. Yeah. It's quite appropriate we talk about the Knight family because the corresponding meeting to Club and Angle tonight is Kilmore. And they're paying tribute to a lot of the Kilmore identities, including Bob and Vin, and, of course, the great popular arm, the popular arm sprints on tonight, so... Talking about the Knight family, at the corresponding time, we're going to be watching races named in their honour from Kilmore. Yeah, it's, um, I'd love to have a horse good enough one day and have a go at it. 
I still can't believe the Vin Knight Memorial is still only a $20,000 race. I think it should be a, for what he'd done for the sport over the years and that. He was, he was just an icon. He was just everyone wanted to be him and race him and watch him. You know, he was just brilliant. So, I don't think there's been a bloke like him since. I, mean. well, I think there'll ever be a bloke like Vin Knight. I concur with everything you just said there, Stuart. He was a one-off and harness racing would give their back teeth to have another Vin Knight going around. Yeah, well, I, I remember back in the day, like, Herald Sun every day in the Telegraph would have, you know, a harness racing drive on the front page, and I don't think we'd ever made it again. Um, he, he, media loved him, and he loved the media, and he, he stirred everything up and kept everything in the spotlight. It was great. He loved a good time, too, and I spent uh, numerous occasions with Vin, and he was certainly a, a wonderful character. Now, Stuart, how did you get associated then with Daryl Hillier? Um, a couple of years back, I moved from Griffith over to Leeton and um, started training again. And Daryl Stables were beside mine, and then we've just sort of helped each other out. I work shift work, so it was a lot of time it's hard to work horses or get horses to the races, and um, it's just become a good association. If I can't go to the races, he takes the horses for me, and vice versa, and I drive a few for him. Um, yeah, I've got this bloke tonight, and me and him had a great association. He's a bit of a, he's got more legs than anyone, oh, oh Frankie, but he's um, good fun. Yeah, and he's brought me here, so I can't really say much about bad about the horse. I love him. Yeah, been good. I know Escape is the horse in question and you was telling me that he's a little bit immature and a little bit of a, a bit of a character. Yeah, he's um he's a, a big boy with a little little boy's brain. He doesn't um he's not the smartest boy but yeah he's 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 um me and him get along well. We're not the brightest either so we get around all right. So, so you consider yourself to be a hobby trainer, so what do you do outside of harness racing? Um, moment I'm working for a company called Copper Ice that makes horse feeds and dog food and that so yeah it's only a recent about the last two months I've moved there so it's made it a little bit easy to get to the races because I only work four days on four days off where, but yeah so um, yeah do whatever's paying the bills and that pays the bills and the horses are fun. Well sure it's been wonderful to catch up with you and find out a little bit about your career in particular the association with Bob and Vin Knight. Good luck with Ideal Escape tonight. Hopefully it's a successful one for you and enjoy the experience going around this Newman Angle track. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks very much.